This is the weekly AI news that you might have missed, starting with Quibble Cop. So, as you can see, Quibble Cop is an influencer, YouTuber, and streamer, and he recently changed his profile to an AI character. So, he is no longer in videos physically. He has replaced himself with an AI-generated character. Just getting some materials of I think it's first time for an act. Go, they should speed things up a bit. Now, I wonder if we can also get stuck, because I do want to upgrade my tools. Come on, please don't. Looks like gravel fall down. So he has 156,000 views on this video, and as you can see, he is not in the actual video. He is obviously playing Minecraft. I don't think AI can play Minecraft as of yet, but he is replaced with the AI character, and that is how he's making his videos now. As you can see here, over on his X profile, his Twitter profile, he has um, replaced his picture with the AI character. Not 100% perfect, as you can see here in this tweet, he said, I checked on the Quibble Cop AI, and I might have to cancel the next batch of uploads. The AI has malfunctioned, so it's not 1000% yet, but as you can see, we talked about AI influencers in our last video, and influencers are turning towards artificial intelligence as well to bring more viewers and to just make things easier. Next, we have Google's Brain 2 Music. Yes, that is correct. Brain to Music interprets brain signals to reproduce the music that you liked. Google is working on a new AI called Brain to Music that uses brain imaging data to generate music. Researchers say the AI model can generate music that closely resembles parts of a song that a person was listening to when their brain was scanned. When people often say, I remember the melody, but I can't remember that song, I'm guessing that this AI can scan your brain and find that song that you were thinking about, which is absolutely insane. It says, according to a recently published research paper by Google and Osaka University, the AI model can reconstruct music by tracking your brain activity using fun functional magnetic reasoning imaging data. SMRI works by tracking the flow of oxygen-rich blood to the brain and seeing which parts of the brain are most active. So, as you can see, man, this is some very, very interesting stuff, man. They're using AI. This is basically like neurology, so AI is helping with neurology, as you can see, absolutely mind-blowing. And I'm excited to see what Google's Brain to Music can do in the next coming months. Next, we have my favorite artificial intelligence tool right now, Leonardo AI. As we talked about in one of our previous videos, they do have Stable Division 0.9, so make sure you check that out. But recently, they just released the photorealistic update. That means you can prompt the artificial intelligence image generator and specify that you want a photorealistic image and bam as you can see on the screen here this is what it will come out with photorealistic beautiful lighting best quality realistic full body portrait and this looks amazing man for this to be ai generated this looks absolutely beautiful this is what they give us using our prompt this is absolutely beautiful I gave it the prompt of a young girl, 21, wearing trendy designer clothes, walking down a busy street, 4K, high definition, and this is absolutely astonishing. I love both of these sets of images. Very, very beautiful and very impressive what you can do with Leonardo AI. Like we said before in our previous video, just go to Leonardo.ai, hit yes, I am whitelisted, and you can use this right now today. Next, we have more advancements in the artificial intelligence art world. We have video to 3D. That is correct, man. Create 3D textured assets and nerfs from static or moving objects. As you can see here on the screen, man, these are 3D assets that are textured, which is absolutely crazy. And then they also have image to 3D. This is CSM.AI. Again, CSM AI, they're making 3D worlds from any input. Absolutely crazy. Looking at their community showcase of some of the 3D textured assets that are that have been generated, absolutely mind blowing. Again, you can use these assets on your websites using Door AI. You can also just put these assets in your portfolio, load them into your video games, load them into your music videos. There's so many possibilities of what you can do with these 3D assets. Somebody made Kendrick Lamar in 3D. That is pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. What is this? Some kind of Nissan SUV. Very, very beautiful. Very impressive, as you can see. Next, we have Google's new AI-powered search engine. This is different from Google Bard. This is their AI search engine, which will be in the Google search, which everyone uses every single day. Absolutely crazy. And right here in the top 
right corner, we see a search labs icon. We click on the search labs icon, and bam, the first thing right here is SGE, Generative AI in Search. So, let's turn it on. We will hit Agree. And let's try an example. We're going to go ahead and try an example. The example they give us is, what are the chances of seeing a shooting star? And as you can see, the Generative AI tells us, there's a 20% probability of seeing at least one shooting star in any 15 minute interval. Wow, I actually did not know that. With around 1 million occurring every single day around the world. There's also a feature here at the bottom that allows you to ask a follow-up question. So you can ask, is it lucky to see a shooting star? Is it easy to see a shooting star? You can ask these questions and the generative AI by Google will give you an answer. Now, last but not least, we have the XQ58. Yes, artificial intelligence powered weapons. AI autonomous weapons are here. The XQ58 Valkyrie solves air combat problems while under AI control. Absolutely insane. This is an image of the XQ58 right here. XQ58 Valkyrie. The US Air Force's stealthy XQ58 Valkyrie drones recently completed a successful test flight demonstrating the ability to carry out aerial combat tasks aut autonomously using new artificial intelligence driven software. Absolutely crazy, man. AI autonomous weapons are here. See here, man, another picture of the XQ58 Valkyrie drone. This is it right here on the right. Very, very interesting stuff, man. AI powered weapons are here. Without further ado, man, that is it for the weekly artificial intelligence news, man. Please tune in every Friday for AI news weekly. We're going to be tackling all things AI, man, all things web development, all things technology. Whatever you guys want to tackle, we will tackle it until we get that 5,000 subscribers. I love you all. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out of here. Hey, I just put up clean and you knowin' that they next broke She hit me a head and you know that they neck broke Are you asking me to cut through when you neck broke? I've been feeling good, come green like a gecko Maybe you wanted to snake me from the get-go Would it be $7,136,000? And I just pulled up and I'm get- uh, I just pulled up on that bitch like I'm get soaked I just told her put her nose in it, come get coked Ayy, hey, told her get wet, she could get soaked Told the nigga that ain't Facebook, you could get poked Told the bitch, yes we can, just to get votes Take a bad bitch to Tahoe, just to hit slope I just told Brody, pass the hoe and let's get moked If she throw that ass this way, it's gon' get roped Ayy, hey. hey.